all right guys so let's get started but first of all let me walk you through the demonstration this computer you see over here that's my primary computer is running they make softwares as you can see over here and then my second computer you see over here is running obs as you can see on your screen and then i have the obs pc connected to my external monitor over here all right but i want to show you guys something on the obs computer when i go to the obs sources okay when i go to the sources you guys can see that i haven't installed any ndi plugin over here there is no ndi plugin installed over here all right but i have been but i have been able to connect this output from the obs pc into the vmix software all right so i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this in vmix so when i come to the obs pc and then i change the graphics over here i change the graphics and bring this one over here like this i change the graphics over here you can see that it reflects in the vmix software and then it's also reflecting my external monitor you can see over here so when i bring um, a video file over here like this when i bring a video file over here like this and let me play this video file here. you can see that it's playing over here and then it's playing on my standard monitor and then it is playing on my vmix laptop as well all right so someone may ask that why do you want to connect your obs software into vmix since the two applications that's almost the same thing all right you wanted to do something like this just to split your production okay so that you have some of the resources or some of the tax allocated into your obs computers so that at least you can manage your production very well all right so guys let me walk you through the tutorials and then i'm going to make it as brief as possible so before we start the tutorials make sure that you have a router okay a router like this make sure they have a router that is connected the two computers to okay all right so that you can follow along with the tutorials okay so if you don't have a router you can use a hotspot on your mobile phone to connect the two computers together so that you can follow along with the tutorial so let me put this router somewhere all right, so um, install VMAX on your first or your primary computer. We, we wouldn't do much on this PC, as you guys can see over here. VMAX is fully installed over here. And then install OBS on your secondary computer, okay? OBS is a free software that you can just Google it and then install it, all right? So on the OBS PC, let's do some few settings. Then after that, we'll connect the two computers together, all right? So since our two computers are connected to the same network, okay you go to this website over here you go to the vmix website as you can see over here and then you download this desktop capture for windows all right download this piece of software from vmix it's free of charge and then when you download it it is come to come as a, a zip file so extract it okay so create a folder and then extract the zip file into it and you are going to get files like this okay so when you get a files like this make sure that you launch this one the one that had the vmix logo on it you launch it and then when you launch it it's going to appear it's going to appear like this let me let me take this thing off good it's going to appear like this okay it's going to appear like this all right so this piece of software will allow you to get the output from the obs pc into the vmix software so it's very important okay you don't install it when you launch it is going to appear like this so when you click on the settings you can do some few settings over here by showing the case if you want to show the case on the vmix software you can do that you can check it or you uncheck and then if you want to send the audio source from the vmix if you want to send the audio source from the obs pc into the vmix software you can also select it over here then after that you just leave everything as it is and then you minimize it on your pc all right so we have our obs installed over here and then we have our desktop capture also 
on the PC, all right? So the next thing we wanted to do here is to, let's go into the VMIS software and I'll show you something over here. So on the VMIS PC, since VMIS is receiving the output from the OBS software, you go to add input over here, you go to add input over here, we we'll go to add and you click on NDI slash desktop capture. You click on it like this, and you can see that we have a lot of output over here. We have a lot of output over here. So the output we are looking for is to go for display two. All right, this is what we are looking for. So you click on the display two, and then you click on it like this. You can see that our OBS desktop output have been sent into the VMS application. So when I click on it like this, you can see that this OBS output have been sent into the VMX software. All right. So when I change it like this, when I bring this one on board like this, you can see that it have reflected in the VMX software. All right. But here is the trick. Okay. Here is the trick. Pay attention to this part. Okay. What happens here is that if you don't connect this OBS software into a secondary monitor, you won't be able to get the output of this OBS output into the VMA software. Okay, so if you can see over here, so when I click on scenes, okay, when I click on scenes, when I right click on the scenes like this and I go to a PC, a full screen projector, you can see that I have a television connected as my secondary monitor, as you can see over here. All right, this is my television I've connected, okay? So if you don't have a secondary monitor connected into your OBS software, you won't be able to get the output into the VMIX software. So guys, kindly pay attention to that, okay? So if you have this thing done, you'll be able to get the output directly into VMIX software. And here is another way you can also do that if you don't have a secondary monitor okay so right now if you don't have a secondary monitor so let's go here like this when i click on the scenes and i come to uh full screen uh, full screen project okay the scene okay i can use display one when i click on display one like this when i click on display one like this a window on my obs software is going to open for me and then i can get that window into my vme software so let me quickly disconnect my uh, HDMI cable from my PC. So let me disconnect my HDMI cable like this. You can see that the television is off over here. The television is off over here. But when I come to my OBS PC over here, and then I come to my VMIX, you can see that the output have been captured there. All right. The output have been captured here. Okay. So by doing this, you can't be able to change anything. So this make the screen static and you can't change anything. So if this is an option for you, you can go for it. And if connecting the OBS to a secondary monitor too is another option for you, you can go for it so that you can get the output into the VMI software. All right. So guys, I hope this tutorial is helpful and I hope you've learned something great about this. All right. So um, let me know in the comment section how you feel this tutorial is going to help you and kindly like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that so see you and i'll catch you in my next video all right thank you so much